I like it how right off the bat it's just like. Urgh! Praise Lord Jesus Christ, y'all know how we do it. Let's just get straight to the point. Five Nights at Freddy's. Y'all remember this game? I know you do because they just dropped the movie on October 27th. And y'all saw the numbers that that movie did. It was crazy. I haven't seen the movie, um, but that's besides the point. BC, I'm talking before I believed in Jesus. I used to be big. Big in the Five Nights at Freddy's back Whee! when I was a kid. I actually remember uh, the Five Nights at Freddy's Freddy jump scare from the first one. I remember seeing that. Uh, from this YouTuber named Uber Hacks or Nova, he was playing it. The jump scare happened. I remember seeing that, and it traumatized me for like two days. And uh, I remember having a couple nightmares about it too when I was little. I, I was little back then, right? Nowadays, we're desensitized. We we we've we've seen too much, um, you know, jump scares, creepy stuff, you know, children stuffed into animatronic suits because this is a kids' game somehow. Huh. This is... Is this really marketed towards children? And it's... It's it's about children being stuffed into animatronic suits that are possessed by those children's spirits? And now they're coming to stuff you in their suit because you're the security guard? Let me slow down. Is this a creation from Satan? Okay, let me stop. Okay, let me calm down. Because Scott Cawthon, the creator of this game, used to make Christian games, for those of y'all who don't know. And I guess, from what I understand, unless I'm wrong, when I go back and I look this up, right? I guess he made this game because people kept making fun of his game, like Chipper and Dale or whatever it was called. And, like, the characters look like animatronics and everyone was like, oh, that's creepy, that's creepy. So he basically was like, let me do this, right? But my question is, is there something deeper? Is there some kind of spirit, some kind of demonic spirit influencing this? Because there is, there, there is a, a definite, without a doubt, dark atmosphere to this game. It's, it's very, it's evil. Let's just keep it real. It's evil. And yeah, I don't know about y'all, but when you come to the light of Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says to not entertain evil, right? Don't entertain it, right? And instead, we should expose darkness, expose Satan right so that's what we're going to do today we're going to see if we can expose satan in this and we're also going to look at how much better this game would be if jesus was in it Let's see if i remember hello i actually worked in that office before you i'm finishing up my last week now as a matter of fact so all right i know it can be a bit overwhelming but i'm going to tell you there's nothing to worry about you'll be fine so let's just focus on getting you through your first Okay. Okay, so here's something I noticed. In fact, I've noticed this a couple of times. Maybe it's just the way the camera is, but when there's only one eye showing on an animatronic or, or just a one eye thing, uh, the reason I point this out is because in the Bible in Zechariah 11:17 it says, as y'all see here, Woe to the worthless shepherd who leaves the flock. A sword shall be against his arm and against his right eye. His arm shall completely wither and his right eye shall be totally blinded. Against his right eye and his right eye shall be totally blinded. Now here, this looks like the right eye is the eye that can be seen on this Freddy mask. Um, and I believe it's also the right eye uh, on the cover. Uh, not the cover, the title screen. Y'all know what I'm saying. Which is the opposite of what the Bible says. But I just think it's interesting that I noticed this. Another thing that seems to be a common theme in the Five Nights at Freddy's series are the black and white tiles that we see here on the ground. Sometimes it's seen on the walls, too. Um, black and white referring to both the darkness and the light. The 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 good... No, well, I said darkness first. The evil and, and the good. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, the evil and the good. And, and 
It symbolizes, I believe, evil and good being equal. What? Evil and good? That is not true. Let me just correct y'all right there on that. Evil and good is not equal. Read the Bible. Jesus Christ wins. Satan lost. Get right with Jesus. Receive the Holy Spirit. Here's a video of what the Holy Spirit feels like. That's besides the point. This is wrong. Why is this? Is this normal in pizzerias? Let's look it up real quick. Is this normal in, in, in pizzerias to have this? Interesting. A magical place for kids and don't run, don't life, yell, don't scream, don't poop on the floor, life, stay close to mom, don't touch Freddy, don't hit, leave before dark, thank you management. Leave before dark, okay. I'm losing power like crazy, but it's only, it's only night one, I just really want to look at everything. Because I'm trying to see if there's anything that's... I mean, look at the flooring. I mean, look at that, doesn't that look creepy? Look at these pentagrams pointed down. Look at that. Look at that. Pointed down. Okay. Maybe it's Christian paranoia. But let's just, let's check it out. I decided, why not we look at some of the lore of the Five Nights at Freddy's series? Let's see for ourselves. Is there anything that's in there that is questionable, demonic, biblical, you know, and anything along those lines, right? And I started trying to figure out what the lore was, and oh my goodness, I mean, whole books, entire books. I'm talking, it's ridiculous. I'm trying to figure out the lore. I'm like, this ain't it, right? So I, I'm like, okay, let me look up a summary, just a summary of it, like a quick paragraph of basically what it is. Can't even find that because there's so much information. But what did I find? I found this video by this YouTuber here about, um, it basically summed up in 10 minutes, so I decided to watch that. I'm not going to show the whole thing, of course. I'll link it in the description if y'all want to watch that. But I am going to show some things I, I noticed, and then I'm going to summarize it for y'all. The new location specifically designed to murder children. But why, you may ask? Well, when Afton was murdering the five children, he discovered a way to become immortal, introducing Remnant. When the kids die, they release this material called Remnant, which bonds your soul onto something. This is basically what? how the missing children and Charlie were able to possess the spirits. What of kind of Charles. demonic Uses stuff? Uses this information, including Michael Afton, who still wants to find William Afton. Mike ends up getting the security job, and remember, he still looks like his father here. Henry creates an animatronic to capture his daughter. The animatronic is called Lefty, and little by little, Mike collects every single one of the animatronics. There's the eye thing again. Look. But they're doing the opposite. The right eye is the one that's fine. His name's Lefty, like the left eye, I assume. But that's, huh. There it is again, the whole eye thing I was talking about earlier. And little by little, Mike collects every single one of the animatronics into one facility. All Whoa! Look at Golden Freddy! Again! But it's the opposite of what the Bible says, huh? Well, look at Foxy. Foxy, it is the, the right eye that's covered. To summarize basically what this is about, because I'm still confused after watching that video, even though it was a well-put-together video, shout-outs to that dude that made it, but anyway, um... From what I understand... Keep in mind, still confused. Basically, these kids got killed, and now their spirits are possessing these animatronics. And that's how I think I remember it from back in the day. Now, here's some issues with that. One, if you're a human and you're dead, you're either in heaven or hell. I'm telling you that right now. If you communicated with any of these spirits, supposedly, I'm telling you right now, those are demons you're talking to. Those are what's called familiar spirits. Familiar spirits. They're good at imitating people. They can imitate them so well, they'll know things about people because they, they watch, bro. These are demons. This is why you need to stay away from them Ouija boards. You understand what I'm saying? This is why you need to stay away from all the, them mediums, all that. It's all a lie, bro. It's it's They work with demons, bro. It's not even people they're talking to. The demons are deceiving them, and, right? And then and then they're, they're like, oh, oh, hey, I'll give you, you know, pay me some money, and I'll tell you basically what your future is. They don't know your future. Only Jesus Christ knows your future, so don't listen to any of them. But anyway, children being murdered isn't exactly a, hmm, um... Uh, I mean, it, it sounds kind of demonic, okay? It, this doesn't really sound like this is um, kid-friendly, for sure. Family-friendly, I would even say, too. I mean, it's actually 
pretty evil. Uh, so I, I am starting to believe there's a spirit that's influencing this. Now let's look at some of the gameplay from whenever I was playing the first one to, to you know, kind of look through it and see it. Let's, let's look at some things that happened to me whilst I was playing it as if the spirit was operating through the game. Just Bonnie moves, something like that. So let's just take care of business. Let's get through this. Um, I believe Scott Cawthon did say something about how in his dreams, like he'd have nightmares about Bonnie, like being at his door or something like that. And that's interesting because see, when you have these nightmares, these nightmares, you guys got to understand this is spiritual. Uh, your dreams are spiritual. Your dreams aren't just nothing, right? You li li like, it's like you go somewhere, right? Your dreams sometimes could be messages from God. Sometimes it could be seemingly nonsense. Sometimes it could be a demonic attack. And when Scott Cawthon was talking about having nightmares of Bonnie being at his door, I believe he said, if I could pull it up uh, and put it on screen, that immediately makes me think, okay, demons... Okay, I mean, night, they're nightmares, dude. Demons were causing the influence of this. And you know, horror things just aren't, like, exactly Christian. Because, you know, over here we praise the Lord Jesus Christ. But, um, hey, for those of y'all that don't, hey, y'all just gonna think I'm crazy and stupid. And you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Because the Bible does say that to those who are perishing, the cross of Jesus Christ is foolishness. But to, to us, it is the power of God. But, <clears throat> anyway, um... Let me calm down, because I'm offending people. Blessed is he who is not offended in me, says Jesus. <sighs> I think we're just chilling. They got speakers down here. Let's play some... Oh, look at look who moved. Dude, I remember I used to watch so many YouTube videos about this, dude. So many YouTubers not only playing this, but also all the theories. Y'all remember the theories? What happened to all that? Hey, what's up? See, this is what I mean. Like, this... I'm too desensitized to this stuff now. A few moments later. This is really annoying. This is only night two and this is happening. This thing, it's complete luck. Or is it luck or are there other things at play? There's other things at play. Notice right when I said that, as if I'm implying that there's spirits influencing this the, the way these games play, right when I say that, as if it's alive, right? Look what happened. I can't stress this enough. There is a spirit in this game. No way. I rebuke these spirits in Jesus' name. That's creepy. It's like these spirits know I'm playing this game, so they're making things happen that have never happened. We we passed, but I ain't never seen Foxy run on the first night. I know it's possible. I, I did my research back in the day, but I, I, I've never seen it for myself. I think I know you hear all these footsteps, but if you... Look at the camera, they're like standing still. Is this the third time this has happened at 3 a.m.? 3 a.m. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Dude, do I need to show you anything else to prove this is demonic? Okay, let me slow down. May, uh, it's just a dark game. It's a horror game. I mean, what do you expect? Anything that's horror is going to have some dark, you know, things to it, right? Um, the Bible says, I, I believe, basically that the kingdom of darkness, that's Satan's kingdom, right? All the demons and all them, right? But um, I just, I, I just can't help but like get over the fact that um I, I can't get over the fact 
that we used to play this all the time when we were kids, bro. When we were little. It makes me wonder, what kind of effect would this have on children as they're growing older? Because your brain is still developing. What kind of effect would a horror game like this have on children? Is there some kind of conspiracy? Okay, let me stop. Um, well, I think I said something about what would this game be like if Jesus was in it. Basically, it'd be simple, bro. Um, nothing would ever happen because the demons would be terrified. These demon-possessed animatronics, they'd be terrified to even come near Jesus. Why? Well, because Jesus, you know, he, he walks in that authority because he's the son of God. He's the son of the living God, right? The Bible explains that even demons know who Jesus is and they tremble, right? And I'll tell you all myself, I know that's true, right? It's true. The name of Jesus Christ is scary to the demons. If you're dealing with any demons yourself, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and get filled with the Holy Spirit and rebuke them demons in Jesus' name. You ain't got nothing to worry about whenever you get saved and you get anointed by God, receiving that Holy Ghost. And it's the best decision you could ever make. Thank y'all for watching. God bless.